Positively, Jacks, dozens of Jacksonville children were able to pick out their own Christmas present this afternoon. A special toy giveaway was held at Reese Park on Ken Knight Drive on the north side. It's just one of the local events to help families before the Christmas holiday. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean is joining us live from Regency Mall, where food will be given out this week. Joe, organizers of these events say they're fulfilling a desperate need. And it's a need that extends beyond the holiday season. One of those uh, food giveaway events is going to happen right here at the Regency Mall uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, but more than a quarter million people in the region are food insecure. And uh, and right now it's, it's just... Uh, organizers want to emphasize that this is not just a holiday problem. Toys piled high, ready to be distributed out to families for Christmas. No, it's not the North Pole, but a special toy giveaway event hosted by Phillips and Hunt Law Firm. Whether it's food, whether it's toys, you know, and when you are blessed, you need to bless others. Nearly 2,000 toys were collected and given out at the event ahead of the Christmas holiday, when there's an increased emphasis on generosity and increased awareness of those in need. It's definitely positive because the kids have been um, going through so much. Um, this last past year, so they got the opportunity to get out and experience um, being able to pick, and there's no limitations. For low-income households, though, the desperate need for basic goods doesn't disappear on December 26th. It's a year-round struggle. Few local organizations know that better than Feeding Northeast Florida, which is hosting a series of food distribution events this month. It's top of mind for a lot of us at Christmas time and around Thanksgiving that we want to give back to people who are in need but those same people are in need all year long. There are 257,000 people in the eight county area that's served by Feeding Northeast Florida that are food insecure, meaning it's unclear on any given day where their next meal is coming from. And that includes 70,000 children. For perspective, that's more children than would fit in the entire Jaguar Stadium, which holds 65,000 people. So the need is great and it's constant, but there are plenty of ways to help. Hall says you can donate food items or cash, which is far more efficient. Because we're able to buy so much food in bulk, so we can get a much better price on food than if you were to go to the grocery store. Hall said the uh, monetary gifts can be stretched so far by the food bank that uh, actually just a donation of $10 can wind up providing 60 meals through the food bank. So you can find out more about the uh, food giveaway events that are happening uh, this month uh, and how to donate. All that information on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.